Hey guys, this is Joe from Coding Blocks, uh, trying something new here. I uh, wanted to try and work through um, one of the kind of problems that you might get in a job interview, just so um, you can see if anyone's interested in watching this sort of thing. Anyway, uh, it's kind of a hobby of mine, so uh, hopefully I don't do too badly on it. But um, I don't know, just thought it might be interesting. So um, I went to CodeWars.com, which is one of my favorite sites where you can practice uh, problems. And they've got uh, all different levels, eight being the easiest and one being uh, probably really hard. I think I've only gone up to level four and those guys kind of hurt my brain sometimes. So I'm going to play it safe and just do uh, a level seven here so I don't look like too much of an idiot. And so filter by that. And we've got a couple guys to look at. And sometimes um, descriptions can be um, a bit long and kind of convoluted. Um, these are user submitted. Um, and you know, 90% of the time it's okay, but uh, I don't want to pick one that's too weird. So I'm going to avoid ones that have issues reported. And I'm going to try and get the middle character. And you can see it's, got, it's tagged with fundamentals and strings. So this is probably like a good one even for um, learning languages. And you can see the languages that are actually supported over here. Java, C++. I'm going to do JavaScript because it's ubiquitous. And just because. Just because I hate it. <laughs> All right. So uh, here's our problem. You can be given a word. Your job is to return the middle character of the word. If it's odd, return the middle. If it's even, return the middle too. Okay, interesting. Let's click train to do it. All right. So great news. They've got some sample tests for us here, which I'm always a fan of. Makes it much easier. Sometimes they won't actually write the test for you, and so you just kind of have to either look up the syntax or do something else. It's kind of annoying, so I appreciate this. Here's the formal description. You're going to be given a word, return the middle character. Oh, we just read this. Okay. I thought it might be a little bit more fleshed out. You got to be careful sometimes because sometimes they'll slip a little extra rule or two here or um, something that you might have taken for granted. So it's always good. Um, you know, sometimes they'll mention what to do with spaces or something, but it looks like this is going to be pretty simple, which is uh, about right since this is uh, just a level seven. All right. First thing first, this is JavaScript. That bracket's on the wrong line. All right. Off to a good start. Code goes here. Okay, so we've got our tests. Um, if it's even, return the middle two. If it's odd, return the middle one. So s dot length will give us the length of the string, letting us know if it's odd or even. So uh, what I think I want to do here is just a real simple ternary operator. Um, but tell you what, um, let's go even simpler and just, just if else it out and we can um, take a look at making it slick afterwards if we feel like it. <laughs> so the way uh, I usually tell if something's even is just uh, doing the modulus of two. But uh, I know there's the trick where you can do the bit shift one thing, but I don't know. There's something about old mod two that just looks better and feels better even though I think it's less efficient. Uh, I think that would be a pretty minor optimization. Anywho, if it's even, what I want to do is return the middle two characters. How do we figure out the middle two? I think slice is the one the command that I want. And what I want here is the middle rounded down. And the middle on it down plus no, I think slice takes um, the starting index and the number of characters. So I think that's actually going to be two. So um, let's figure out what that middle is. And uh, you can kind of see a little bit of my style here. I actually like to kind of think through things a little bit and place variables even before I have them just keeps things clean. You know, I could have started putting indexers and I'm um, doing some math in here, but this is just a little bit easier to debug when you're first, uh, uh, puzzling this kind of stuff out. So this is going to be my length divided by two. So in the case of four character test, I'm going to get the character two. We can be careful here because um, the two characters I want are ENS. So I actually want the middle minus one. 
groups and I want two characters. So I'm gonna think about that one more time. If I got middle, which has six characters, six divided by two is three. So in that case, I want the zero, one, two index and a three. So yeah, I want that divide by two minus one and two characters. Okay. so um. This is one of the things that uh, I always forget, especially during interviews, but um, whether or not I'm gonna get a decimal from this divide. Um, I'm not sure. So for now, I'm going to try and parse int it. No, I'm going to math.floret, which I'm not actually sure is a function in JavaScript, so this is gonna be fun. I don't like that it's not highlighted, but I don't know that it's wrong yet. But that's logically what I want. And so I don't really mind having that because I feel like it explains to anyone who comes later um, what exactly I'm looking for, which is um, the lowest number. So I'm going to go ahead and do this second part. Because if I run this test now, that I'm not going to get a return here and the test is going to fail. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and see that. All right, doing terrible. So I expected ES and said I got E. And I'm guessing that I got this slight fu slice function wrong. I thought it was the number of characters, but I can tell by the answers I got back that it's just not happening. So let's try this again. Wow, total fail. So in the case of four, I get two as the middle, so that's index one. And that's index two. So I'm not having a lot of luck with my slice here. And uh, that's bad news. I'm gonna have to look that up later, but uh, since we're pretending this is an interview, I'm gonna just move on and do things a little bit more simply, which is probably a good idea anyway. So now I'm going to take the uh, just the characters and I'm just going to pin them together and return a single string. Now this should definitely work. All right, those even guys look good. So now I'm going to handle the case where it's odd. And hmm. <laughs> Hopefully they're not gonna throw us any blanks. I was just wondering what would happen if I got a, pat, a string that's null or um, null or empty and uh, the math stuff is not gonna go very well there. But let's just go ahead and leave it for now and um, we'll see if we get away with it. All right, now in this case, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier. We're just gonna return s at middle. Now, middle is defined in this block. I know with JavaScript, it gets kind of hoisted at the top, but I still like to write things and, and um, basically not do it this way. But anyway, what I want to do here, we're going to clean this up in a minute. I don't want to call it center. Nasty. That's the kind of stuff that you put in there just to test and then you forget about it and then just gross. So anyway, what's going to happen here is, let's say s is s length of 5. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. But I um, want to make sure that I get a decimal back here. And so we're going to have to check this because I just don't know. But in this case, I actually want the ceiling. So if I get a 2.5 back here, I want to be a three. And we can double check that on something like the word testing here. One, two, it's gonna have, it's got a length of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven divided by two is 3.5. And so if I got the ceiling of that, it should be four. So zero, one, two, three, four. That's the I, that's too far. So I actually want the floor again. And 
then I want to return the middle. So let's see how that goes. All right, test passed. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit and just um, run all the tests. And we've got 54 passed, zero fail. So we've got a good solution here. But if you notice, these functions are actually the same up here. And I think that my point oh doesn't matter. And if you notice now, my uh, middle here is the same, which is good because uh, the way JavaScript works, those aren't two separate variables anyway. There's no uh, lexical scoping. So that was a no-no. And the kind of thing that uh, if you're in an interview, if you're uh, going to do something like that, you at least want to call out and mention that uh, you know that it's not doing what it looks like and you're going to clean it up in just a few minutes and that you would never check something like that in. Let's make sure we're still working. All right. So... I'm kind of wondering about that slice, but I don't want this video to go on too long, so we're not going to worry about it. And here's that ternary thing that I had mentioned at the beginning. And the reason I'm doing this is because I love ternary operators. I just feel like, um, maybe it's because I've seen so many of them, but whenever I see it, I just instantly grok it. And I, I know that I'm looking at it if else, and it just, I don't know, it seems less cluttered to me. So I think they're actually more readable than not. And you may disagree with me, and that's fine. But I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. Let's see. Uh, it's weird that it took so long. I did something wrong. There we go. All right, so I feel good about it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take one more step of that slice, because that is bothering me. Oh, 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 you know what? Uh, S is not an array. S is a string. And I don't know that slice works with strings. Uh, let's go ahead and do a couple tests over here. I'm breaking the, oh crap, I hit control I. Oh no, oh God. All right. Sorry, I always forget the shortcut on Mac. Oh, I did the same thing. All right, so all of a sudden I forget how to open the DevTools. So, let's just open a new tab and I'm gonna do this the old fashioned way. All right. So if I've got a string here, now it looks like a slice would work here. I think I just sent somebody an email. <laughs> All right, so in this case, it gave me the S and it is giving me uh, from index to index. All right, and it does work on strings, at least in Chrome. And you gotta be careful because there's things that work in Chrome that don't work in uh, Node 6, like for instance, uh, four star star two like that to me means four to the second power it's equivalent of saying uh, math.pow but this doesn't work in at least in code wars in node so something to be aware of but i oh my gosh why did i open mail <laughs> sometimes i kind of hate max all right this is getting annoying So, s dot slice, and I want the middle minus one, two, in the middle. All right, let's run our tests. I inserted a character there one more time. All right, this is strange to me. Oh, it's because I want two characters, duh. I'm sorry. So we want, yeah, this is what we want. We want two characters. So I just made a logical error and um, 
seeing as how it probably took me like, I don't know, 15 minutes to do this problem, I probably wouldn't get the job, but I uh, kind of had fun anyway. So before I hit uh, submit final here, I want to take one more pass through and see if there's anything I want to clean up. Uh, I didn't really mention um, the reason I wanted to do slice rather than just the pluses. I just feel like um, the slice conveys more intent. You know, if you see that plus, then it could kind of imply maybe there's some addition or something going on or just there's that cognitive dissonance that happens just really briefly. And so I prefer slice because it's just more specific and it lets you know um, what we're doing. I don't love the word uh, or the variable name S. Um, I don't love the name get middle, but uh, those are kind of built in code warsy type things um, for this problem. So I'm just going to leave those alone. And I'm going to submit final, and then we're going to be taken to uh, other people's results. And they are going to be so much better than mine. But that's okay. Oh, look, one liner. Looks pretty similar to mine, though. Okay. Well, uh, that was it. Anyway, um, let us know uh, if you like this sort of thing or if this is terribly boring. Um, and uh, maybe we'll do more. All right, see ya.